Hello everybody, it's great on 95 we are back with more Phoenix Radius Attorney. So, in the last part we did stuff, and now I'm going to accuse Jake Marshall of being the person in the video. Somehow. Crap, that wasn't how. I ate an egg. Chocolate egg thing. Anyway. Um. No, it, it wasn't by chance. Was it? Nope. How do I freaking prove it? I know it was you. Oh my god. Everything's terrible. Okay. Maybe I gotta press this. What do you mean by that? You want to tie me to this crime, isn't that right, partner? If so, that video is the only direct evidence you have. But that video is next to useless. It's full of blind spots. Blind spots? Places you can't see. The camera's panning back and forth. The floor isn't even shown. If someone was familiar with the camera's positioning, like he could have left he could leave the room without being caught on tape. We don't have time for your speculations, Mr. Wright. Well, Mr. Wright, if you can show us evidence of this video that indicates Officer Marshall was present, please do so now. Oh my god, I didn't even need to Ah that's what I had to do. Very well. Allow me to point out your mistake, Officer Marshall. Tread carefully, Mr. Wright. Or you might wind up being the one making a mistake. Treading very carefully, Mr. Edgeworth. Don't worry about it. I'm not I'm not saving her any I'm not making it so that I can go back in time and redo things over and over if I need to. Now then, let's have another look at that video. Show us this incriminating evidence of the witness. Officer Jake Marshall. Whoa! <laughs> Bringing our attention back to the security camera is a mistake I'm afraid you'll soon not forget, Officer Marshall. The days are short in Texas, and so are our tempers. Could you sum up what you have to say in eight words or less? Very well. You can clearly be seen in this video. Exactly eight words. Not bad, partner. The key lies in a certain locker and shown in the video. Ho ho ho! Bam! See this locker that has a white cloth sticking out? This is the witness's locker. Now then, let's rewind the video a bit. <clears throat> I'll rewind the video a bit. Sorry. Whoa, what's with the frame drops? Come on. Oh! The white cloth! It's gone! What's the meaning of this, Officer Marshall? When the crime took place, the white cloth wasn't there. Then it suddenly appeared. There was only one explanation. Officer Marshall, you were in the evidence room at the time of the crime. What's more, you opened your locker when the camera was turned away. Order! Order! It would seem that that's the only... Hold your horses. Sorry, partner. But you got the wrong man. So what if my locker was open? That doesn't mean I'm the one who opened it. Actually, it really does. The murderer needed to hide something, so he opened the locker and stuck it in. It's not my fault he happened to choose mine. Why is everyone staring at me like I'm a wanted man? Oh my god, really? This guy isn't just playing dumb. He really doesn't know. Uh, I hate to rain on your parade, but you're the only person who can open that particular locker. Oh yeah? I'll call it your bluff. You say I opened the locker, now prove it. Oh my god. This guy... Uh, fingerprint sensor? We talked about this earlier today. The lockers can only be opened by the, the detectives they belong to. Well, what kind of crazy talk is this? 
<clears throat> well, Detective Gumshoe did mention something about this. In any case, the locks aren't that obvious. There's even some people in the force that don't know about the fingerprint locks. So, Sheriff, what do you have to say in eight words or less? I only got one word for you, partner. No! I could do a better one, but I didn't feel like it. I need some water. Next time somebody says no, I'll do a better no. Um, order, order, order! Witness, explain yourself. If this is a joke, it's the worst I've ever heard. I assure you, this is no joke, Officer Marshall. Now then, please tell us what you were doing in the evidence room at the time of the crime. Ole! Please answer the question. Are you serious? What is he now, a bullfighter? That's alright, Officer Marshall. I believe we can figure the rest out from here. We can? Have a look at these floor plans. There is no place for someone to hide in the evidence room. Yet Officer Meekins didn't see Officer Marshall. If that's so, then where was this? Where was the witness? It seems Mr. Wright has an answer. That's right. The only possible conclusion. You? Well then, let's hear it. Where was Officer Marshall at the time of the crime? He was definitely in one of the lockers. Officer Marshall was standing right here. Hmm. So Officer Meekins didn't notice him standing there. That's almost as credible as Meekins' warp theory. Your chamber's empty, partner. Better reload. Are you serious? Now they're getting up on me. Perhaps you should think a little more about where Officer Meekins Marshall was. Officer Meekins should have seen him in the evidence room. That means the only place he could have been would be... Ah! Why did I do this? Okay. I didn't save again. God damn it. Okay. Sorry, right here. Messed up, sorry. Officer Marshall was standing right here. There? But that's... That's where the victim, Detective Goodman, was. Correct, unless the man wasn't Detective Goodman. I believe the victim in this video is Officer Marshall. That was a stupid mistake, sorry guys. It was you dressed up like Detective Goodman. But that's preposterous. Officer Meekins witnessed the detective at the crime scene. Once he saw the man's face, he'd know for sure. May I point out, though, that Officer Meekins did not know Detective Goodman. He also testified about the man's reaction when confronted. When I entered the evidence room, I asked him to show his card, sir. Yes? And how did Detective Goodman respond? He suddenly pulled a knife on me! Something about the officer's story puzzled me. If the man had his ID card, why didn't he just show it? Yes, he would have needed it to enter the evidence room, so he must have been carrying it. The answer is simple. He couldn't show it. As you can see, Detective Goodman's picture is on his ID card. Oh, I get it. If he showed the, that, his cover would have been blown. Officer Meekins would have realized the man wasn't Detective Goodman. Do you have anything to say to this, Officer Marshall? You've got quite an imagination, partner. We got a term for that. It's called circumstantial evidence. Circumstantial evidence? He's still denying it? You're going to have to do better than that to break a detective. Unless you have hard evidence proving I dressed up as the victim. Hmm. I can't say I particularly care for your uncooperative disposition. I can't say I care for your beard, but you don't see me complaining. Well, Mr. Wright, do you have any evidence? Any evidence beyond uh, proving beyond a shadow of a doubt that Officer Marshall dressed up as the victim? I'm saving! You're welcome. I didn't think you would notice. Yeah, I know. Some of you were like, I knew that. Anyway. Do I? Well... Who am I kidding? I don't have anything like that. I can see the fear in your eyes, partner. 
Seems we're on the you're the one who couldn't take the desert heat. Ah! This can't be happening. It's so obvious he's the one. What can I do? Get into the locker. Huh. It looks like your lack of experience has finally been exposed. I'll pass on to you what someone told me when I was just starting out. When you've run into a wall with no place to go, return to the basics. The basics? For me, that would be what Mia used to tell me. Sorry about the pause, had to do something. Night, yeah, Nick! Uh, try thinking outside the box. What box? I should look for proof that Officer Marshall was in disguise. But rather, I should look for evidence that came about because he was in disguise. Why do you think this locker was opened in the first place? What do you mean? There's no reason for Officer Marshall to open his locker at the time of the crime. Yeah, he did, despite the chance it might be discovered later, as it has been. Which means he didn't originally plan to open his locker. According to the defense's argument, according to the defense's argument, Officer Jake Marshall dressed up as Detective Goodman at the time of the crime. Then, after the crime was committed, he opened his own locker for some unknown reason. The fact that a white cloth is sticking out of the locker seems to indicate that he opened it in order to put the cloth inside. So, just what exactly is this piece of cloth? Perhaps, perhaps the video is the key to all our unanswered questions. I'm going to save right here too, because I need to save often. Save the world. Ah. We're going to save. I can't do it. Ah. I need some water. Hold on. I'll do it in just a second. For any of you fans who know this, if any of you know this, then you'll know. <clears throat> We're gonna save. Oh God! Save! Ah! My voice is too deep. Save! Ah! Save the world! Oh, okay. We're done. I don't have any evidence, so this video is my only shot. We're gonna save the world. Save the world. Save the world! Ah! Anyway, very well. Let's take yet another look at the security tape. After committing the crime, the witness opened the locker and put away the white cloth. Please show us why the witness had to open his locker. Oh, I know. <laughs> Hello, blood! For some reason, you disguised yourself as Detective Goodman and entered the evidence room I don't know what that reason was yet. Yet. However, something unexpected happened. Officer Meekins barged in on you. When asked to show your ID card, you pulled the knife on him. However, Officer Meekins panicked, and the white coat you were wearing was soiled with blood. A bloody white coat. You couldn't just walk out like that, so you hid the coat in your locker. Not bad, huh, partner? Now then, Officer Marshall, are you ready to tell us the truth? Looks like I underestimated y'all. I hope you're happy now, Mr. Edgeworth. Two years ago, if you were only half as persistent then as you are today, we all wouldn't have to be here now, would we? Officer Marshall, tell the court what you did, all of it. All right, it seems the time has come. Marshall's confession. I had to do it that day. I couldn't just stand by and let it die. I stole the detective's ID and dressed like him. I planned to take out the evidence. I wasn't expecting Officer Meekins. I knocked him out and managed to escape. I knew which areas wouldn't be cut but on the camera. There wasn't any murder in the evidence room at 515. Cool. 
so the supposed victim was really you. But there's one thing I still don't understand. Large quantities of blood traces were found on the floor of the evidence room. If no one was murdered, then how could that be? Officer Meekins managed to cut his hand own hand. My guess is he's the donor. It looked like too much blood for that. Marshall's confession will be cross-examined next time, so I hope you enjoyed this part, and if you like what I do, subscribe a little, and you'll get the latest stuff when I upload it. So, uh, thank you for watching again, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. See you later.